to going natural, I said to a colleague of mine, I said, oh, you know, would you think about doing it? She said, oh, but it's all right for you. You've got, she didn't quite say good hair, but she said, you know, you've got long hair. I said, well, that's not always quite been the case. This is me at about seven years old, seven, eight years old. I think you can see the obvious difference. Even if you look at my texture now, and you look at there, what's changed? I tell you what's changed. I've started looking after my hair. That's what's changed. And uh, back in the old days, let's face it, our parents only had so many supplies and knowledge. And uh, in no way am I uh, knocking our parents' effort. In fact, I did say earlier that my hair was average. I have to be honest with you, when I was a kid, this was considered long hair, where I was brought up in central London. This was considered long hair. And, um, you know, I used to have lots of different styles and things with it. But um, certainly my texture was just normal afro hair, nothing curly per se about it. Whereas today, people do say... And I have to admit, yes, my texture has does is different than it used to be. If you look at it, so you know, well, I'm not going to go into this bit all the way down here because some of this is permed. So, and I haven't shown you where the difference lies yet. But certainly, um, things have changed. Back in the day, our parents had what they had, which was very few products and very harsh products that they used to use on our hair, and you know the afro comb, the comb, the brush, and they give our hair what for? To get it into the plaits, to get it into the ponytail. I'd go swimming with my hair like this, then come out of the water, and then God knows what my hair looked like afterwards. Get home, rock hard, knotty hair. That, that's how it was. So it's no wonder, really, texture's changed today. Or maybe the way I look after it means that the texture appears different. That's the point I think I'm trying to make.